All right, we're gonna be building the Catapult version two. Just note that my color system might be different than yours. For this one, we only need one axle and that's a length of six. Again, if you line it up with this Technic brick, they, uh, they'll be the same length because this has one, two, three, four, five, and then there's room for a sixth hole or you can count the number of spaces on top. So this is a length of six. So just keeping in mind that we may have different colors than in the building instructions. Just uh, try to figure out what the parts are so that you know what you have and can, can adjust accordingly. So we're going to start off with a 6x6 base plate. And then we're going to go ahead and add uh, some 2x6s. And then it doesn't really matter whether you take the Technic brick with the holes or just the 1x6 without. Um, we're just using them for supports in this model. We're not, we're not going to be putting anything inside the hole. So it doesn't really matter which side they go on. They can go on the outside like here. It can go on the inside like here. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to take our 2x4 bricks and we're going to put those right in the middle. We're going to do that on either side. And then we're going to add our plates. So our 2x4 plates. So those are the skinnier ones. Go ahead and add those then set this model aside and we're going to work on the catapult arm so we're going to take our 1 by 16 and we're going to add one of the black pins on the second hole the second hole there and then count one and then the second hole on this side so on both sides like that okay and then we're going to add the second one we're just going to kind of snap it in place. These pins kind of act as just a way to hold them together. All right. Next, we're going to take our six by six plate and just right in the middle. See, just like that. Make sure that you push down. You got that nice and secure. Then we're going to add our tiles. These are our flat tiles. They're smooth on top. Those just go in the middle. And then we're going to build a little wall around. So let's go ahead and we'll add our one by six and our one by four bricks. Okay. The last step, we're gonna count in one, here, let me do it so you guys can see through. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth hole is where it's going to go in. And then on either side, we're gonna add these, the bushes. And those just provide friction and try to get it as even on both sides as you can. And then just like in the first catapult build, um, nothing attaches. We're just kind of setting them in place. And then when we pick it up and we set it down on top of this, then it will be secured in place. So you could just kind of pinch it, see how it will move kind of freely. And then just set them right down on those plates. And we have our catapult. Just like that. All right.